Holy Spirit, share your life with us tonight. Manifest your grace tonight. 
Oh, share your life with us tonight. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Share your life with us tonight. And we will lack nothing. Hallelujah. It's my love on the conference line tonight, Pum. If you are there, will you lift up tonight's conference to the Lord in prayer? Yes, I am, Bishop. Go ahead. As the Spirit lead you, because tonight is going to be so explosive, I am not even prepared for such an explosion as is going to happen tonight. Go ahead. Go ahead, girl. Father Lord, we just thank you. We praise you, Jehovah. We magnify your name. King of kings, Lord of Lords. El Shaddai, El Elohim, El Yon, Lord my God. Lord Jehovah God, we ask to make you an appointment. To come and agree with us this evening, O oh God. Father, we just rain down the Holy Spirit. We ask that the Holy Spirit be one of us, O oh God. you there tonight from Montreal see are you there tonight from Montreal yes. okay see lift up a very powerful prayer shot straight to the point in French to God tonight to pray just one minute not more than one minute in French uh, in Spanish one minute and that's it Te damos todas las gracias 
Madre, de todo lo que tú nos brindas todos los días para nos acercas, para estar al lado de usted y escuchar de usted, Padre mío. No por lo que nos das, Padre, pero el glorioso que tú eres, aleluya, Padre, te damos las gracias por todos los días. Gracias. Buenas gracias a Dios. Gracias, Padre mío. Gracias. Gloria a Dios. Gloria a Dios. Gloria a Dios. Padre, tú eres un Dios que necesita ser magnificado, Padre. Gracias, Padre, por todo lo que Gracias, gracias. Gracias, Jesús Cristo. Tu nombre que sana con la sangre de Jesucristo, te pedimos, Padre. Que ven tu presencia a nuestro hogar. Ven a nuestro hogar, ven a nuestra conferencia, ven a nuestro ministerio, Padre. Ministernos, Padre, también los que están listos con la computadora también, Padre. Ven a sus hogares, a sus casas. Queremos sentir tu presencia, más mi presencia en el, de nosotros. Y el Espíritu Santo y tu Hijo, vengan de tu reino, háganse tu voluntad en el cielo como la tierra, Padre. Ya no soy nuestro Padre de cada día, perdona nuestras ofensas, así como nosotros perdonamos a los que nos ofenden. No nos dejes caer en tentación y líbranos, Señor, de todo mal. Amén. Amén. Tonight, there are surprises. Uh, for those of you who are waiting uh, to receive uh, the information for tomorrow's meeting, please come down because we are making sure everything works for you. Sometime tonight, the information will begin to roll out. Um, and I will also make sure um, uh, I call um those of you whose phone number i have so that i make sure you have the information because tomorrow is gonna be a blast it's gonna be a blast you better be prepared for what you're gonna see but tonight is the test of what you're gonna see happening in our ministries nobody knew what was going to happen tonight not even i so that's the fun part of what i do is when i myself am not even told what is about to happen <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> it's when I go to the pulpit that's when I am told what is going to happen isn't that fun you know it's a lot of fun you know you are with you are in the presence of God all day you're walking in the office all day you know it's time for you to come on the screen for you to be on television and the Holy Spirit, boom, he takes over and tells you exactly what is going to happen. You know, he tells you what is going to happen. Now, I have been talking with, um, I have different nicknames and some of these names that I have for people are really serious. It really, it really describe where somebody is in my life and in my heart. There are those who are daughters. You know, there is one who is whom I call the love of my life. Um, I have I have people in different, um, some romantic names, some fun names, some house names. It speaks very strongly of where I am with them and where they are with me and how fun we are with each other. It's the same thing with the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit has different funny names for me one of them is the name that i am called in heaven which is opportunity that's my name my job is to provide opportunity for people my job i am an oracle that provide opportunity for people whether financial opportunity marital opportunity redemption glory joy ministry business investment politics just name it god said that he has called me to be a leader of leaders but that is all these titles and names and all of that is not the real thing the real thing is your ability to stand before god so that he makes you become who truly you are in him and with him so it's not just a matter it's not just a matter of um 
of uh, of doing something is a matter of becoming something i'm gonna read to you from genesis 12 from verse 1 the lord had said to abram go from your country your people and your father's household to the land I will show you I will make you into a great nation that's about formation I'm going to form you and produce out of you a great nation this teaching that I'm teaching tonight I'm gonna repeat it along the way and I will bless you so people of God listen to this first of all verse 1 is about obedience are you willing to leave all so that you can become all that is the heart of the matter are you willing to let go what you should let go so that you should become what you should become your destiny is tied down with an original vision that's what i'm talking about tonight i didn't plan for it i didn't script anything down the holy spirit simply said that's what you're gonna speak on tonight because he want to use it to do something mighty for you for me and for you Your legal right for anything. See, we started on Monday with legal right, legal authority, legal grounds, and we are ending with it tonight. Your ability to call things from heaven or to call things from the ground or to call things from the water or to call things from the heavenly realm, the supernatural realm, your ability to do it lies in one thing the ability to receive an original vision and run with it your legal ground for becoming famous rich and great I'm talking to most of you and those of you in the Millionaire 500 Club of my ministry. Those are the people that I'm mainly talking to tonight. And I'm preparing you for what you're going to see tomorrow and next tomorrow. And I'm talking to those of you who are affiliate, associate, partners, friends, family. Your legal ground to receive famous things great things powerful thing good stuff long lasting quality things upon the face of the earth relies and is based on your ability to possess a legal ground based on original vision what are you willing to leave those who constantly stays in an environment of fights will be destroyed except god asks you to stay there so as to use you to clear problems but outside that don't stay move away jesus was known in spite of his supernatural powers his power as god and his power as a man from god a prophet the son of god the son of my, all these titles when they didn't want his ministry he moved away to somewhere where they wanted it where it was needed the ability 
to step out of trouble is the beginning of your legal ground. Don't persist. Don't keep fighting a war, a battle that you have no business fighting. Don't get involved with troubles that you have no business being involved in. Next, leave people that you should leave alone and let them go away because until you let certain people go out of your life, you will have no original vision or your original vision will die and you'll have no legal ground for your life and destiny. Your willingness to walk away from certain people is the beginning of your faithfulness and fruitfulness. <sighs> Until you are able to tell certain people to leave you alone, you will never be able to slay giants. Mm. Because as long as those who are not supposed to be in your life are in your life, you will not be able to accomplish anything that is worth accomplishing. You will die unhappy, you will die poor, you will be miserable instead of you living massive happiness, wealth, riches, prosperity, and left a name of fame and greatness. You will leave problems instead of leaving a blessing. Hmm. God is the author of original visions. Original legal visions, God always is the author of it. In one way or the other, you will come to know whether as a young boy, whether as an, a middle-aged man, or whether as an elderly man, it will happen in this three epochs of your life. When you are young, or during your midlife, or when you enter 60s, 70s, God will come to you in any of these three phases. And your life and destiny will be shown you. Mine was shown to me early, and I love it. It does not necessarily mean that because God showed you your legal original vision when you are young, that it, that is going to produce any result. Because personal experience, natural experience, human experience, supernatural experience, the proper positive attitude is gonna be needed is gonna be needed for you to be able to move creatively in legal authorized original vision and see what happened here in verse number two i will make you into a great nation okay God does not always begin with, I will give you money, I will give you children, I will give you husband, I will give you wife, I will give you this health, I will give you, I have known of people with poor health, and they said, God, I'm going to pursue your legal original vision for me, and as they went again to pursue it, the sickness ran away. 
as they went ahead with poverty to pursue their legal original vision, poverty left. As they went ahead to pursue their legal original vision, the right husband or the right wife came. The children came. Yeah! Your original legal vision is at stake until you learn what I'm teaching you tonight. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God always begin a legal original vision with saying he is going to make you a nation. A nation means actually a country. It also means that he is going to take what he has deposited with the vision. Every vision comes with a glorious logistical not only that i still have more grammar to put in this it also comes with glorious anointed giftedness and creativity hallelujah and god wants to use that vision to turn what is in that vision into something that will become global. Something that sells. Something that brings, that changed the world. You see, one of the reasons I am involved in your life is that I am giving you an opportunity with me in the ministry God has given to me for you to participate in something that is beyond you. I'm not doing this for money. I'm doing this because I am called to establish an institution. God wants to turn you into an institution. Into a household name for good. That's what we mean by a nation. Everybody, most people, some people, but it must be global, will buy into what God has given to you to sell. Hallelujah. And that is what we call a nation. A nation is birth, born out of a legal original vision. And when you get it, you declare your independence and you run with it. Hallelujah. See how it goes. It's always global worldwide that is what a nation means a walmart nation a target nation mcdonald nation fedex ups store nation ebay nation google nation facebook nation microsoft nation apple nation cnn nation name it oprah nation See, that's, what, that's the kind of thing we are talking about. Mobile exam, a nation. It's all over. BP, L, Shell. Just name it. Or you begin to talk about global banking. You see, one bank start today is spread everywhere. Why? They have a legal original vision to spread because if you stand still you'll die a friend was sharing with me about some some people from some African countries say in America somewhere in Nebraska and they started a restaurant people loved the food and began to come they began to come 
You know what they did? The foolish African people went ahead and closed the restaurant. And they were asked, why did you close it? Because there were too many people looking for their service. Say, really? Why didn't you go and open another one somewhere else in the same city? They say, no, they just want uh, about uh, 20 people a day for them to serve. I said, wow! What an idiot these guys are. Why? They don't know what I'm teaching you tonight. They don't know it. I am calling you tonight to participate in something that is larger than you. That's what God is calling you for. As a member of Millionaire 500, when God said, send $500 to become a member of Millionaire 500, so that it takes off, so that your life becomes innovative, so that if you start something, you call me into it. And I'll be there for you. It is a money that I am using to not just declare your independence. It is the money that I use to fight a business battle for you in the supernatural. So that there is no power under the heaven that can block your business that can block your becoming a millionaire nothing because you must give god something in exchange for what you want i've learned that law boom write that down for me or geneva any of you you must give god something in exchange for what you want if not you get nothing God always begin with, I want to make you a great nation. Are you willing to build an empire? Many of you are satisfied. I mean, there are some people who are called to participate in somebody else's vision, in somebody else's original vision. But that will require humility. See, that will require humility. That's why those that I have picked to walk in the inside with me, I know the reason. I'm looking for certain qualities, whether they are able to fit with the legal original vision that was given to me. I'm not coming to walk under somebody else's original vision. That will not work for me. I won't receive any blessing. I will be attacked. And I will suffer. I know it. I will make of you I will make you into a great nation which means prepare yourself through obedience to be made into it's not just your gift that is going to make you into what you want God the Father Jesus and the Holy Spirit wants and desires to participate in making you into a great nation which means there is a supernatural thing that makes somebody into a nation it's not just others and you that can build you into it god is the one that removes the roadblocks so that you could be made into a great nation Your money alone is not going to be enough. You're going to need Jesus' money. You're going to need angelic 
beings bring you supernatural resources. Doors are going to be open for you in the heart and mind and spirit of other human beings to come alongside you with your own gift so that your so that your vision will be a fruit. All right. Look at this. It was after he spoke of you being willing to be made into a nation, a business nation, a ministry nation. God is my witness. I am not looking forward to a little ministry on the earth. I'm not looking, I'm not looking forward to it. I am unwilling to have that. And I'm unwilling to have little lifestyles. I'm unwilling. I'm unwilling to be poor or to be sick. I'm unwilling. I'm unwilling to have the wrong people around me. I am unwilling. The gates of hell shall not prevail against me. Neither will it prevail against you. And then it is after God has made that statement about building you into a nation. If you are willing, then he adds, and I will bless you. The blessing will not come until the building into a nation happens or begins to unfold. You will receive the blessing from the institution that God built from you or out of you. The money you are looking for is going to come. Let me give you an example. If God asks you to go and start a university or a nursing home or a hospital, or a ministry, you better go and begin doing those things. The reason is this. The thing you are looking for, majority of it, is going to come from the institution he's building through you. When I say institution, I'm not talking about schools. I'm talking about a business. I'm talking about your farm. I'm talking about professional careers that he's going to escalate into a global thing. It is, it is through what, through the nation building that all, you, all the quality things you need will come through that. They are all tied down. The blessing is tied down to the nation. Hey! The nation is not tied down to the blessing. Because the nation is the fundamentals, the foundation of the vision. Have you guys seen it here? God is not a small God. God is not a poor God. If your God is small or poor, please don't bring him to me. If your God is afraid of witchcraft and Satan, please go on to them and keep fighting them. Don't come near me. Because my God is the maker of the heavens and the earth and everything and i know his name his name is jesus hallelujah you are asking god for a blessing that is not there you should be asking god for a nation to develop your creativity your powers your ability to turn you into a famous institution. Let it be that people migrate, begin to migrate from all over the world to come and live in your little city because you are there. Do you know that people fly their plane all the way from one part of the United States to another part of the United States just to eat in a hotel? That's it. Because the food is delicious. The service is great. Just to eat. And you will see that kind of hotel in different parts of America and the world. Until you are willing to become an institution, then the money... Now, let me tell you, the institution the career or your willingness to help somebody else 
raise an institution, raise a business, raise a ministry until you're willing. Then the milk and honey will not come because the milk and honey is tied down to the mountain. The water you are looking for is inside the rock. The rock is the nation. And it takes the person with the legal original vision to hit the rock and tell the rock, release what is in you and it will release it. The money you are looking for is not under your pillow. Although sometimes angels will bring you money. But the money you are looking for is tied down to you being a personality globally famous that's how it is what sells is personality the book that the person might have written might be trash the music trash the lotion powder cologne perfume outfit trash but because the name is there itself that's all the other thing in the market better than that but those things in the market that are better than these ones have no personality promoting it or selling it personality sells brothers and sisters tonight god wants to give you personality and i know many of you do not want this you want some money to buy one car, buy one house, have a little job, and you are good to go. That's what a lot of people want. But that's not what I'm looking for. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <sighs> Until the nation comes, the blessing will not come. So you are looking for a blessing where the nation does not exist. And for you to be a nation will take obedience, leave certain people alone. Make certain people walk out of your life. Now, let's go to this one. And then he said, verse number two. And look at, look at, let's finish verse number two. Uh, look at verse number two. Oh my goodness, let's see. And I will bless you. I will make you. I will make you great. First, the nation that God want to build out of you, the business, the institution, the career, the ministry, the politics, the engineering work, the shop that God want to establish through you must be made great first then the blessing follows it is until the blessing happens that now look at what he said i will make you great greatness is tied down to the blessing the blessing is tied down to you becoming an institution with power comes money and with money comes greatness fame you can't have one without having the other and you will be a blessing oh hallelujah so it is until you become great that you can become a blessing which means if you don't have any change in your pocket how will you be able to help other people the world will not remember you if you are broke please write that down for me it's a major key i want to teach on that the world will not remember you if you are broke I'm repeating it again. The world will never remember you if you are broke. 
and heaven will have will not have much to do with you if you are broke and sick and if you have no knowledge and unwilling to learn and put into practice what I'm asking of you tonight hallelujah oh my goodness look at verse 3 I will then then look at this what will happen I will bless those who bless you oh oh Pumela give me some South African shout there please there we go where is Geneva shout some 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 African American shout there for me please tonight where are you hallelujah Maria shout some glory of Dios for me please tonight I don't know how French people shout or people from the Hallelujah. Hallelujah. <laughs> Is there somebody from any country who want to shout something tonight? Anybody from a different country? Can you shout something in your language? Hallelujah. <laughs> Hallelujah. And then, glory to Dios. And then listen to this verse 3. I I will bless those who bless you. Do you know the meaning of this? He will release people to bless you. And as they bless you, because they bless you, not somebody else, then God will bless them. You see how this thing works? I tell people that stop coming to me to pray for you or to minister to you without a blessing for me whether it be a material blessing or a financial blessing don't do it in olden days you never you never go to see a priest a king or a prophet empty-handed they will chase you out i'm serious in fact you don't the three times or more that people appeared in the temple to go and see the presence of God. They never went there empty handed. Let's learn the law. There is a law to these things. There is what we call the law of detail. It works. If you come empty. You are going empty. I have told many people out there. Those of you watching on YouTube. Those of you. Who are watching in the internet. Those of you on Ustream. I am saying to you tonight. If you do not link this thing, you are going to be sleeping on the street of heaven, I'm telling you. You have to go back to the Sunday school of heaven to learn these things. Because God is not going to allow you to come to the city of heaven. You have to go to the boonies, to the countryside of heaven and stay there until you complete your task. Then they will bring you out here to this side. Because you are not coming... You are not giving us all the trouble in the world and come to heaven to give us more trouble. We will not allow you to come there. I will bless those who bless you. Did you hear that? Don't let people send you empty cards. Merry Christmas. Happy New Year. Happy Fourth of July. Happy Thanksgiving. Are you serious? And they send you a card. No money in it. No real flowers delivered. Nothing. Those of you who know the way I love knows that I don't play empty love. I'm not like other pastors who will send you their book or CDs or this thing. Because they wanna they wanna escape government taxes. I go to the mall and buy you something good and I'll send it to you. That's how I behave. Mama Jetrude, are you online with me tonight? Yes, I am. Good. 
This is a woman who loves me, and I love her very much. You know why I'm you know why I'm singling you out today. <laughs> I start I start now to congratulate you for what is coming. Yes. Start now to congratulate you. By the way, by the way, ladies and gentlemen, I am talking to a former Miss New York, okay? I'm talking to a former Miss New York. So if you think if you think you are beautiful, think twice. Because I have some beautiful people around me. You have no idea. I have some beautiful people. Most of you have never seen the, the who Barbara is, or Pamela, or Chantel, or Gillian, or Maria, or Jaytrude, or Geneva. None of you have ever seen those people, or Beverly, or Christine, or Sherilyn. I'm, I'm talking of the female, or Lisa, or Donna, or Angel, or Kiwana. Or Zoe. Or favor and praise. Hey, hey. Or Ashley. Or girl. And her daughters. And granddaughter. I mean, I'm surrounded. It's like I live in a fairy world surrounded by beautiful people i'm not talking of the male yet you see the male whom i surround myself with they are they are 100 percent handsome i don't deal with ugly ugly men forget it you if you are ugly go to some way go to another ministry don't come near me and if you're a woman you are ugly god help you look at the the beauty of olivia or Annette of Hungary, or Camellia. Look at the beauty of Major in the islands, or Dorothy, or the parent of Andrew in Malaysia. I mean, I'm surrounded, it's like I live in a fairy tale world surrounded by beautiful women and handsome men. I say now I know why the Satan is angry. Because you guys are too beautiful. Too handsome. Hmm. Look at Doris. You can't even tell her age with her beauty. Oh my. You can't even tell her age. So beautiful. Thank you, Jesus, that we men, men in my ministry, do not have the spirit of Solomon. Thank you, Jesus. You want to talk about Katumu? Wow. Beautiful. I mean, it's just like God selected. I prayed for that. I said, God. Send the ugly women to some other ministry. Send me the most beautiful ones. And he did that. You see my sister Emily. You have to turn around and look twice. There's nothing wrong about looking. There's something wrong about going further. Just look. All my daughters you can look. But don't. 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 I will stop there. I will stop there. Yes, so put not just look at Amanda. Look at Amanda of New York. Look at Amanda of New York. Don't just put a ring on it, put a bling on it. Put put a bling on it. Put a big rock on it. Let it bling and let people be jealous and let them die of jealousy. Yeah. 
all the daughters of my ministry are gonna wear big time bling on their fingers. Even those who are single will wear some quality blings. You come to them for marriage, they tell you have passed that stage. Thank you very much. I'm concerned about my business, okay? Don't take offense at it, but that's how it is. And the man will say, wow. Look at Veronica. I mean, if I start to name, I will, we will not, we will not end this place for a whole week of all the beautiful women in the ministry. And that's why I give them a way to serious minded professionals, not just anybody. What is the man doing? Nothing. Oh, he's just collecting welfare. Seriously? Hey! You're going somewhere else, though. not here. You're not coming here. Go somewhere else. And I will bless those who bless you. And whoever takes you lightly and takes your legal original vision lightly or curses you, I will curse. You guys don't believe in cursing. I do. Satan curses most of you every day and I, my job is canceling it every day. And I will curse those who curse you. <laughs> and all people on earth will be blessed through you. So through your legal original vision, you will be blessed. Now let me, let me put this iPad down so that I can begin to talk to you. I'm so excited. People of God, I'm so excited. I've not been excited like this for, for, for a while now. We've finished with this. This is the introduction. People of God, listen to me. God gave Moses an original vision. Your original vision is your legal ground to achieve greatness on earth. Listen to me. Your original vision is not something you are running around to discover from other people. It's something that other people confirm that you have it already. Moses knew he was being, 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 being inspired to be a leader. He knew that is what his original vision is. But he didn't know how to do it as a young man. So he killed somebody. Until after 40 years or whatever, God came for him and rekindle that vision you are going to lead the people he walked with that original vision and it worked for him and for the people people of god if you lose your original vision you have no legal ground for success please write that down for me if you lose your original vision you have no legal ground for success. Geneva, Pumela, please do, 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 do. Write that down for me. If you lose your original vision, you have no legal ground for success on the earth. And your prayers will never be answered. Please attach that to that sentence. And your prayers will never be answered. They will become an abomination unto the Lord. Please include that. Your prayers will never be answered and they will become an abomination unto the Lord. Next. Hallelujah. Joseph, as a young boy, he had a dream. That dream became his legal original vision. Joseph never lost sight of the original vision. Never. No matter what he suffered, he walked through it and it worked for him. It was the original vision the gift of dreams and the vision of leadership. Remember that he saw the stars, the moon, all kind of coming down to bow before, before him in his vision as a boy. That's the original. Do not let go of your original vision. The reason why many of you are suffering is that you've let go of your original vision. People tell me that I should make my teachings 10 minutes. I don't know how. 
because these are things that I want to do, I do not want to go back to them. If I go back to them, they become books or other things. So that's why I put it like this and put it out there for you. Until when I want to retrieve it and make something out of it, then it will no longer be there in the internet. Enjoy it while it lasts. It was the original vision that God gave him that became the legal ground for him to endure all that he endured. And at the end, he became the second highest ranking person in all of Egypt and all of the world, in all of the ancient world. And at the end, his brothers and sisters came and performed what he saw in a vision many, almost 40 years ago. Let's go. Next person, God gave David a vision of being a leader and anointed him a king through Samuel. Saul began to pursue him. Many years, almost like 40 years. David did not lose his original vision. Listen to what Abigail said to David. Fantastic, great, 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 great things. People of God, I need a pulpit, I need a church. So that I can teach what I want to teach. I can teach the great things the Holy Spirit is pouring into me. My heart is becoming sad. I need a pulpit. I need a big church. I want to make a church. I'm willing to pay the price for one to be established. So that I can have some way that I can pour into people. I'm, I'm, true, I'm telling you this. Because my, my life, my mind and spirit is exploding. And need... It's like water that needs some way to go. That's how I am right now. People of God, it took David, the original vision in him, for him to pass through all the problems he passed through, and he became a king. The original vision sustained him and gave birth to Solomon, although Solomon messed it up. People of God, the original vision that Saul had on his way to Damascus, became what led him in life. And he became the world's greatest missionary of his day. The world's greatest teacher. Saul was not a preacher, he was a teacher. He wasn't a pastor, he was a teacher. He was an organizer of the church. That is why he's called an apostle. An apostle means someone that organizes. Somebody that is sent to go and teach the word. Matthew 28 from verse 18 to 20. Read it. He did not say go and preach. He's teaching. Although there is a side of teaching that almost looks like preaching. Peter heard from Andrew that Jesus is the Christ, the Messiah. That became his original vision. What have you heard from Jesus? What have you heard from the Holy Spirit? What jumped out of the Bible for you? By the way, let me ask you, what is your original vision? What's your real career? Something you are willing to pay price for. Jesus was given the vision of redemption, glory and joy. Three things. That became his legal ground to battle Satan and humans. Even in the land of the dead and came out victorious. What is your original vision? The vision God gave me is a vision in which he told me, do not leave the United States. This is your country. If you die, you'll be buried here. This is where your headquarters is. Along the way, you will start going in and out of this nation to train people in the area of business and investment, politics, and church ministry. Because many who are leaders today do not know what it means to be a leader. I'm calling you to be a leader of leaders. That's why I'm a bishop. And God began to send me leaders to train. And that's why we are quietly establishing what we call 
I I M House of Power. It is Kai Mary Ministry House of Power. One is taking shape slowly in Germany. Are you gonna help me do this tonight? Are you gonna support me? Are you gonna work with me? If God didn't give you a vision, don't you think He gave you a vision of supporting me financially and through your prayers and through your calling to encourage me and standing by me? Don't you think that God is calling me to stand by your vision so that your vision can stand? It is your original vision that is going to be your legal ground that you're going to use and say, Satan, I heard the Almighty God said this to me. And you can never make me poor. You can never kill me through high blood pressure. You can never kill me through diabetics. You can never kill me through cancer. Because I heard this from heaven about my destiny. And I'm not backing down. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! I'm not backing down. God said that he's going to give me houses. God said he's going to give me cars. God said he's going to give me a jet. God said he's going to give me a husband. He's going to give me a wife. He's going to give me children. He's going to give me a nation. Say that to the enemy. That is your declaration of independence. People of God, lift up your hand and begin to pray tonight. Begin to pray tonight. God gave Abraham an original vision. He ran with it in spite of his mistake. Please don't be afraid that you will make mistake along the way. Mistake is bound to happen, but move on in life. Move on with your original vision because that's going to be your legal ground that you're going to use to fight your battle, that you're going to move forward and become a success. Please, I want you to lift up your hand and begin to fight your battle. Begin to tell the enemy of the vision God has given to you. I don't care how many people are on the telephone line tonight. I don't care how many are watching through you stream. What God has asked me to tell the world is this. If you want to listen to me, you're going to make success only if you have a vision of, if you have the original vision that will become your legal ground for anything you want in life. That's your legal ground for prayer. When you ask for anything, it will be granted because you have an original vision. Please begin to pray. Begin to pray. Begin to tell God because I have, I have an original vision that you gave to me that has been confirmed by many. An original vision that you gave me to do this, to do that. Oh, I am presenting it to you as my legal ground in Christ Jesus to excel and to become a success. As a member of Millionaire 500, begin to pray, begin to pray, begin to pray, begin to pray. Begin to pray. I'm boiling with fire tonight. Begin to pray because there are certain sickness that I want to counsel. I want to command to jump and leave your body. I want to command poverty to leave. But I want to hear you begin to pray. Begin to pray, begin to pray. If you are willing to pray, then I will begin to pray and close the meeting. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, people of God, listen to me tonight. In the name of Jesus, listen to me tonight. Father, I bring the vision of your people and I present it before the cross. I present it before the blood. I present it before the name of Jesus. And I want you to reenact the drama. Reenact the drama of the original vision in the life of your people. Rekindle the original vision. I present the original vision as a legal ground that, Lord, you will use to open doors for them. You will use to do mighty things. And then, Lord, I'm going for something else tonight. I begin to cancel cancer. Cancer in Jesus' name, come out. There are people who are suffering from cancer. Or your family members are suffering from cancer. And you are on Ustream. You are on the telephone line tonight. In Jesus' name, I curse you, cancer. I destroy you. Get out. Now, next. All spirit of diabetics. Everything working in your body, diabetics, high blood pressure, yes, eye diseases, deafness, dumbness. I throw you out of the life of everyone who are watching tonight, everyone who are suffering from arthritis, 
people who do not know how to make money in the name of Jesus. I begin to pray. I counsel all stupidity and Holy Spirit to run away from your life. People who do not know how to live in a, a holy life tonight, I counsel the spirit of whoredom. I counsel the spirit of prostitution. I counsel the spirit of indecency in the name of Jesus. I throw you out, you spirit of poverty. Go in Jesus' name. Father, I begin to thank you. I thank you for answering our prayers tonight. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Good night, everybody. I'll see you. Um, after our pray, after our our um, after the 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 um, after the um, how astrology is affecting your life and destiny on Saturday. That's tomorrow and Sunday. Um, please, please, please make sure you check. Make sure you check your emails. I'll also send phone calls to as many of you as I have your phone number. I will call. So that I make sure you get it and you join me tomorrow. You join me tomorrow. You join me tomorrow. It will only be for those who paid. I will tell you the number that you are going to call. It's not this number. And so on and so forth. So thank you very much. God bless you. Make sure that you participate in blessing in the Kaimeris ministry. Thank you. Because I too and God will bless you. Good night. To stop conference recording, press 1. To return your conference recording has stopped.